Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bravely Default 2 demo. Let's go. So yeah, um, hello everybody. Welcome to uh, this video right here where we're going to be taking a look at the Bravely Default 2 demo. I'm so freaking excited. I loved Bravely Default on the 3DS. Admittedly, I have yet to play Bravely Second. I don't know what I'm waiting on. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this. Thankfully, the stories aren't too connected. I mean, I know some characters from, uh, Bravely Default, or, well, Bravely Second are taken from Bravely Default, so, yeah, but the story itself is, like, still self-contained. But, all right, let's go start a new adventure. Thanks so much for downloading the demo, the special version of Bravely Default 2, designed to allow you to get to grips with how everything works. The story is separate from that of the main game, and the battle difficulty level is also just a little higher, so that you can enjoy the challenge of various jobs and abilities available, and learn to work with the Brave and Default commands. Don't be afraid to experiment, and most of all, have fun. One moment. Sorry, TV was a bit loud there. It only has, like, two settings. Quiet or super freaking loud. All right. God, I'm so... Oh, man, I, I I can't wait for this game to come out. I I did not even watch the trailer in the direct because I didn't want to spoil myself, but then as I was skipping through, I was like, oh, wait, what's this? A demo available now? <laughs> well, let's take a look at that. Fire, water, wind, and earth. Four crystals to keep the world on an even keel. Their guardianship, the sacred duty of the royal family of Musa. But then, one day, the kingdom is overrun and reduced to ruins, and the crystals taken by force. Things have not been the same since... Oh, since. The nations of the world have been beset by countless odd occurrences. Gloria of Musa, at your service. Oh, okay, wasn't expecting that. But all is not lost. Princess Gloria was able to flee the destruction, and has since resolved to restore all four crystals to their rightful place. And in so doing fulfill her duty as the sole remaining scion of her ill-fated line. Her quest has been an arduous one, but she has made some friends along the way. The hero of our tale, a sailor washed up on the shores of this world from parts unknown. Name this young wanderer, Seth. A scholar seeking to unravel the mysteries of a book bequeathed to him by his mentor. Alrighty. Elvis is the name. The impressible Elvis. Presley, and a young mercenary hired by Elvis to help him find the mysterious stones known as asterisks. Oh, hi. I'm Adele. The delightfully dangerous Adele. We join this motley band of adventurers as they arrive at the oh, at last in the city of Savalon, after an exhausting trek across the searing sands. Oh my god, this... Oh, oh my god, this town. Look at the water! I'm, I'm, I'm turning into Mario Wii U, I can't help it. So, this is Savalon. Hey, I said it right! Crossing that desert was pretty tough going. You okay, Gloria? Oh, I've been through far worse. And besides, it's not me we should be worrying about. To see dear old Savalon half submerged like this is... Well, it's a shock, to say the least. It's because of one of the crystals, right? It would seem so, yes. The water crystal is here. I'm certain of it. It's a wee bit sweaty around these parts, eh? I could do with a little something to wet the old whistle. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> a little something from the tavern, you mean? Now there's a fine suggestion. You're a woman after my own heart. Lead on, lassie. The first round's on me. 
I hate to break it to you, but we have more important things to be getting on with. Just think, though. The first drink will taste all the sweeter once we've done something to earn it. Aye. I suppose you're right. Well, let's take care of business first. Then we can get down to some serious pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> he really does make it too easy. Hey guys. So, you find anything out? Aye. I ran into a chatty local who was more than happy to spill the beans in exchange for a few coins, eh? Seems the place suddenly started filling up with water about two years ago. Everyone was delighted at first. They thought it was a blessing, in fact. But then the water level just kept rising and rising, and... As you can see, now half the city is submerged. Only fish and waterfowl will be able to live here if this carries on. It would seem that Savalon's troubles began at around the same time the crystals were stolen from my kingdom. One of them was brought here. There is no doubt about it. Sure seems that way, huh? All right, then. Let's split up and try to find out some more about what's been going on. Okay, this voice acting is... Wow. Squeenix knows what they're doing when they get these voices. Or, well, the devs, anyway. Um, something, Knights, I've already... I, I, I know I should be doing a better job of the devs for this. I, I really should, but... Yeah, even in Bravely Default, all the voices were good. It's kind of sad that some 3DS games had better voice acting than some Wii U and early Switch games. Looking at you, Breath of the Wild. Great game, but those voices. What? Anyway, L to move around, hold B while moving to run, press X to open the menu. You can check and change equipment, jobs, save your game, much more. That's, uh, that icon indicates the person you'll need to talk to in order to advance through the main story. Stuck try pressing R to get an overview of the area in case there is someone nearby who can help you. As you proceed through the story, you'll occasionally come across people who are in need of help. People in that will be indicated with a blue text box icon. Talk to them in order to offer your services. Okay, well, I can tell this is meant to be played in handheld mode. Holy crap. Eh, it's fine. And plus, um, just like with Octopath, uh, any suggestions or, like, feedback they get on the demo will be incorporated into the final game. Hopefully raising this text size will be one of those things. You seek information, the innkeeper may be able to help you. Okay. My father visits that large building every day. I wonder what he does there. I guess we're going to be finding out. The water continues to rise. What world will become of us? Eh, you'll probably drown. I mean, it won't be that bad. Okay, well, that's where I need to go. Hmm. Yeah, running is faster, but... Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's somewhat more noticeable right here. What's your story? Doesn't look like we'll be needing my book, eh? You, you gonna elaborate on that, or maybe we'll find out about that in the uh, main game? Have you tried using passive abilities yet? I haven't even tried battle yet. I have heard that they can prove very beneficial indeed. Especially when used in combination with each other. Be sure to keep an eye on the cost, however. You are a visitor here, yes? This is the Royal Palace. Prince Castor is a fine man. He always puts his subjects first. Interesting. I'm sure we're probably about to meet him. It doesn't seem to be much in the way of, uh, blue optional text boxes. Okay, then. And no point in talking to every NPC except you. 
some about you. Is this where the water crystal was taken? We should start gathering information. Oh, you are Gloria. Oh, crap, my bad. <laughs> Man, sorry, the camera's just really zoomed out. Okay. Okay, I'm genuinely amazed at how seamless this transition is. Hey, 420. Go, oh, okay. Well, let's talk to you. You seem important. Ah, you are a visitor here, yes? I would be happy to offer you a special rate for the night. Oh, no, thank you. I don't need a room. I was just hoping to ask you a question or two. Have you heard any rumors about a glowing blue stone? Hmm. I do not think so, no. My apologies. I guess it was kind of a long shot. Never mind. Sorry to bother you. Ah, uh, but wait! It may have nothing to do with anything, but... I did hear one intriguing little tidbit. Everybody here? Good. I just heard something pretty interesting from the innkeeper. So apparently, there's some ruins out in the desert where people said they saw some kind of strange stone. Interesting. But how do we know it's not just idle gossip? In the absence of any alternative avenues of investigation, we have little choice but to at least go and take a look, wouldn't you say? Did she tell you where exactly these ruins are to be found? She said to plot a course south of the city. But we need to be careful. The way I hear it, the place is crawling with monsters. You guys ready to do this? What? We're setting off already? Can we put our feet up for a wee while first? I, I'm still jiggled after that trek across the desert. You put your feet up if you must. I, for one, will be heading for these ruins without delay. <laughs> well, you don't let up, do you, your highness? I merely wish to strike while the iron is hot. If our trip to the ruins proves successful, I shall be the first to buy you a congratulatory beverage. <laughs> now, there's an offer I can't refuse. Let's get cracking. <laughs> You're even better at pulling your strings than I am. <laughs> All right, let's make sure we're well prepared. There'll be no beverages for anybody if we don't make it back in one piece. It's kind of amazing how closely they mirror the characters from Bravely Default. I mean, though Elvis, he's not a womanizer like uh, Ring a Bell, but other than that, they seem somewhat similar. Uh, there are five jobs already available to try at the beginning of the demo version. Freelancer, an all-around adventurer. White Mage, restorative magic user. Black Mage, battle magic user. Vanguard, hmm, never heard of you. Oh, you're a knight, all right. Defensive warrior who can bear the brunt of enemy attacks. Monk, an offensive warrior specializing in physical attacks. Try picking a new job from the jobs menu. You'll be able to pick both a main job and a sub job for each character. As your job level increases, you'll acquire new active and passive abilities. Active abilities are attacks or spells that must be selected in order to be used in battle. Passive abilities simply need to be activated in the abilities menu, and you'll be able to enjoy their benefits automatically in battle or wherever else you may be. You can keep activating passive abilities until you run out of points to assign, so be sure to assign or make the most of them. In this demo, the total cost of your passive abilities cannot exceed three. New weapons and armor can be found in treasure chests, bought in shops and acquired by other means as well. You'll need to equip them if you want to enjoy the benefits they offer. Any character you can equip well, any character can equip any weapon or piece of armor, but be aware that everything you equip will weigh you down. Oh, we got weight. Your attributes will suffer if you exceed your carrying capacity. Hmm. I'm sure there's going to be, like, bonuses for certain classes with certain weapons, right? Like, you wouldn't want to give, say, a, you know, a, a monk 
a sword and shield because they specialize in their fists. Characters carrying capacity depends on their job. Be sure to choose suitable equipment for everyone in your party. Please don't let weight be a major... Why? Okay, fine. I mean, they do gotta switch it up. So what's everybody's job right now? Freelance... Uh... Okay, nothing but freelancers right now. Alright, let, 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 let's try to switch it up. Hmm. You definitely seem like your white mage material. Oh my god, that outfit. Holy shit. Uh, well, let's let let let's see what the other ones look like. Oh my god. And it's so quick and seamless, too. Her outfits are on point! I'm- okay. I'm marking out over this shit. And you can keep Freelancer as your, uh, secondary, because I'm sure, like, that's gonna have some... Oh. Oh, no. Okay, that's how you set it up. Alright. And then Freelancer is sub-job. Okay. Wait, so then, was she a white mage at the beginning? Yeah, you have Monk as your sub. No, I'm gonna make that your main. And you have Black Mage. You do look like the Black Mage from Bravely Default 1. All right, uh, so what do you look like as a monk? I'm sorry, I'm doing this now. I have to, oh my God, I have to look at everything. What is this? These white mage outfits are amazing! Oh my god! I'm enthralled! This is the game now. This is me just looking at everybody's, like, outfits. I love it. This is the game to me now. Wait. Oh no, 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 no. You're, you're, you're a white mage. No, you're, you're not, you're, you're not a monk. I mean, I haven't even looked at their stats to see what they specialize in, but uh, whatever. Um, okay. So yeah, you're gonna be Monk as your main. Now you look as a Vanguard. I'm gonna call it Knight. I dig it. Oh my god. These outfits are so good. This doesn't really scream monk, but the outfit is on point, so I can't even be mad about it. And then you are going to be black mage, but... Okay. Okay. Bravely's next top model up in here. All right, Black Mage. God, the mage outfits so good. Okay, I'm um, I'm just marking out over this. I I can't help it. Hmm. Oh no. Okay, so yeah. All right, different classes do get different weapons. I was about to say. And I'm sure there is an optimize. Well, let me see quick. Yep, equip recommend it. I'm gonna assume they already have like all the recommendeds equipped. Like it happens automatically when you, you are a monk. Why are you using a dagger? You can't unequip. Oh yeah, I can. Duh. Wish you could see their stats on this screen too. 
Seems to be a pretty big omission from the, uh, you know, um, oh, never mind, right here. No, yeah, this raises her attack. That's new. Because even in Bravely Default, monks were better when they weren't holding anything. Unless you get the special weapons that are made specifically for monks. All right, I'm nitpicking. All right, let, let's roll out like this. I'd say we're good. Where do I go? I should have been paying attention. Oh, never mind. That thing on the screen is telling me where to go. So the city, we must head there right away. All right, then let's go. Oh, these transitions are so good. Hey, a Mystic Hood. Okay. Well, now I got a Min Max. Who will benefit the most? Oh, you really would. Holy crap. Um, yo. Your physical defense is already pretty good. You could benefit. You're higher than her. Okay, we'll go with you, and then you get the little magic boost, too. Oh, I'm going to be min-maxing so hard. I still feel like this should be readily seen, like, on here. Like, you can just see their stats as is, and then here you can see what happens when you get them new stuff. All right. I can just relay that to uh, Squeenix then, I guess. They're taking feedback. I am in need of supplies. Collect five wolf pelts. I use my very last wolf hide and find myself in need of additional supplies. Wolves can usually be found near the road that leads through the mountains to the west. I'll do it. Eight potions, that's nothing to scoff at. Don't you just hate it when a game loads too fast and you can't read the loading screen? The yellow icon indicates a story objective, while the orange indicates a subquest objective. If you're lost, you can use these markers to work out where you need to go next. Outside the safety of towns and cities, the world is infested with monsters. Come into contact with one of them, and battle will commence. Approach a monster from behind to surprise it and strike first. Ooh, monsters appear on the screen? Or on the field, rather? Press A when on the field or in the dungeon and swing your sword. If you make contact with a monster, you're in a battle in a more advantageous position than usual. Oh, okay, we Tokyo Mirage sessions now. Unless that was something that was borrowed from the Persona games. Like I've mentioned in that LP, I've yet to play any Persona game. Or Shin Shimigami uh, Tensei game, for that matter. Though, I think those are more so... Uh, well, well, some of them are more, like, uh, tactical RPGs. But some are standard RPGs that are just, like, really dark. Rambling! Uh, you can also use it to cut grass and other vegetation. You might even uncover a hidden item or two if you're lucky. Alright. I love everybody appearing on the screen with me. Oh, man. Wow, okay, he came up on me quick. Okay, holy shit, those enemy designs. Uh, the Brave and Default commands are key components of the Bravely Default battle system. Use Default to build up power and Brave to unleash it. The Default command allows a character to build up BP, points required to perform actions during battle. It also places them on a defensive footing, for 3 BP can be accumulated at any time. The Brave command allows a character to spend the BP they've built up, or even borrow against future turns. Selecting it will consume 1 BP and will grant that character an extra action, up to a maximum of 4. Enough to completely turn the tide of battle. Thank you, phone. Okay, phone. No, what, what, what's happening? I, do, do I have to shut you off? I might have to shut you off. Uh, be aware, however, that a character who borrows BP won't be able to act again until their deficit has been paid off. Making good use of these two commands is the key to a successful battle strategy. When certain conditions are met during battle, powerful special moves can be performed. 
The music will also change, and all four characters' attributes will be boosted while this special song is playing. Is that the equivalent of, like, you being able to, uh, get help from people via Street Pass in the Bravely Default game? The conditions in question are based on party members performing particular actions a certain number of times. Oh, okay, never mind. For example, freelancers can work towards special moves simply by performing regular attacks, while monks will need to use martial arts moves. Help messages telling you the conditions for each job should be displayed. Note, only Seth can perform special moves in the demo version. Oh yeah, that was a thing in B. Okay, all right. Well, let's play this how like I normally would. So everybody's just gonna default. Don't worry, our HP is actually pretty freaking excellent. So um, nothing to worry about here. Okay, I don't know about that one, but no, we're going to default again. Okay, now I'm beginning to get a little worried about these attacks. That is scary. Okay, one more round. Let me see. Not used to enemies also doing such. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, we about to have to unleash this beast now. So, booyah, booyah, booyah. And now that means I get three moves. Well, technically four. Get wrecked. I always just do this, even though it's not necessary against like these weak random encounters, but I always just build up my defaults, and then unleash them all at once. It's so good. So yeah, um, four fire spells in a row. You are not going to make it through this, buddy. And yeah, I know I can change battle speed. I just want to see all the animations. God, that fire effect. This game looks really good. Oh, Elvis, you are not in a good spot, buddy. All right. Oh, wait. What's the turn? The turn order seems weird. How are you moving again? But. Yeah, whatever. One attack will be fine. Okay. So yeah, one move, we can go ahead and uh, heal up him. And then your next three, you can attack him. She's doing her best. Sorry, just taking it. Ooh, protect. Just taking in the music. Okay. Because, yeah, Bravely Default had amazing fight music. Amazing victory music. It just had amazing music in general. It's a good game. I thought they were on a lower plane. I didn't think they would be able to attack me. Ooh, that's a lot. They got me. You don't want it. It's nothing. Oh, no. Oh, that hurt. You will regret your impertinence. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. No, not yet. Huh. I was not expecting, uh, 
Hmm. Oh, thank God for auto saving. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, just like the original, uh, it would auto save by like every new era you entered. Let's have party chat. Might as well take a look at that. Is that a freaking thunderstorm outside? What? Okay, Erg. You're not usually quiet, Elvis. Is everything okay? Ack, it's all right for you youngsters. When you get to my age, this kind of heat really takes it out of you. Stop being ridiculous. What are you, 35? <laughs> you think you were 100 the way you're going on. Well, when you put it like that, I suppose there might be some life in the old dog yet. Eh, eh, I've got a new trick or two to learn yet. And one or two to teach you two, Lassie. He's right, though. It's sweltering around here. Are you alright? Huh? Me? Sure, I'm fine. A little hot, but it's no big deal. I mean, this is a walk in the park compared to three days on the open sea. Gosh. You've really spent three whole days at sea? How terribly heroic you sailors are. Not bothered by the heat, eh? Sounds like your share of the water is going begging in. Dibs. Absolutely not. That wouldn't be fair at all. Why, why could you just say unacceptable? Just, just throw me that little bone right there. Fine. Yes, your highness. Three bags full, your highness. See? You're not old at all, Elvis. You're the biggest kid of all of us. I like their dynamic. But okay, uh, these enemies, they are not fucking around. Um, I was not expecting to uh, get fully destroyed that soundly. Oh wow, it gives me an extra action when uh, you get that. They weren't playing about that being advantageous. All right then, well, let's just go with two attacks. Gloria, please. My turn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, these guys got some HP. Uh, they weren't lying about uh, things being, uh, you know, made a little more difficult. Let me see if can I target all three? No. Okay. We don't have that ability yet. He don't like fire. All right. I'm still not used to a monk needing a freaking knife. It's just bizarre to me for some reason. Oh well, at least I gained my levels back. All right, so, um, oh boy, uh, I don't think you're gonna be getting them wolf pelts anytime soon. Not at all. I'm not gonna look away from you. I'm not just gonna go down here. Oh my God, it's nighttime. Ooh. A round shield. So, that means even you can... Oh, okay, so yeah, it does look like there's benefits. Or certain classes benefit and some don't. Okay, fair enough. Wow, raises your chance of being targeted too? That's rough. You have a buckler. It's gonna take some getting used to, admittedly. Actually, I'll give this to the person who's empty-handed right now. It's, um, I'm, I, I just still cannot wrap my head around this monk. These enemies run the frick up on you, though. I hit it with my sword. Y'all just hate me. Okay, then. You know what? We'll operate on a deficit, because I'm that sure I'll be able to beat them. Let's see what Blizzard's going to look like. 
use up all the, actually I should not be using up your MP like that. You do not have a lot and these cost quite a bit. And yet I still went ahead with this attack. Yeah, he don't like Blizzard at all. Okay then. Yeah, get rid of him first. We got some attacks. On oh, okay. I thought that would take more than just one. It's always a risk to just operate with a deficit on your uh, BP. I do not recommend that for bosses. Uh, excuse me. I don't fully heal after fights. What about level ups? I've been spoiled by Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Well, no, that doesn't fully heal you. I've been spoiled by other games. You're really not going to heal me after a fight? Or, not, not even a fight, a level up? Not even that? Dude, what? Okay, um, yeah. This demo is not playing around. Okay, so new items, weapons, blah. All right. Wow, those do not do a lot. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. I have to go left and right. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, just gonna go ahead and uh, heal up these MP costs. Wow. I was spamming my sword. Okay, I'm genuinely afraid now because this... If you game over on a demo, you know shit is going to get real. And this is a big chance because that means I'm going to have like three turns of not being able to do anything while they're up here doing this much damage. Huh, just give me a little BP there. All right, thank you. I'll accept it. Don't know what I did to deserve it. Or I guess it was his turn again. Yeah, I'm going to need a little more clarification on that. Like what determines like turn order or movement order because the original was entirely uh, turn based oh you should not be doing physical attacks but yeah a turn based in the sense that you can select what you want every character to do and then it's the boss's phase, and then y'all go through like that, like that all constitutes one turn, but it looks like this might be speed based. Uh. All right, I'm learning some things. So you're vulnerable to daggers. Scale strip, relieve. Bare Knuckle Brawler. Oh, thank you. This okay. So you had to learn the ability to uh, not use um, knives. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of frightened by the uh, lightning that's going on outside. <laughs> No, no, this still... Oh, maybe I have to actually, like, equip the ability. Yeah, I don't have anything equipped or set. All right, that's on me. Oh, that tells me the D Okay, beneficial effects last an extra turn. Okay. Don't have anything in Freelancer. 
Oh, and I have to actually go in here to equip these. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Well, I don't think I'm dealing with like magic users yet, but I still want to be careful with that. And of course you have the basic scan. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that these are, oh yeah, actives are already in place based on your class. Okay, all right. Just trying to get accustomed to everything here. You don't have any passives. Aw. Okay, yes, equip that. That is amazing. And you don't get anything yet. Okay. Hmm. They can also get rid of these little, like, toast messages over, like, everything. Though I guess for the demo, this is fine. Alright, so, nope, um, unequip, unequip. So let me just make sure. Yes, wow, okay. This is the kind of monk that I'm used to. Okay. We in there now. We in there now. That rain is coming down hard. I was not expecting a thunderstorm. Okay, the sword has a pretty... Oh, no, it, it counted. All right. Why are there six of them? Question. Why are there six of them? Oh, you do heal when you level up? Because she's at full HP? No, no, what? I, I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, uh, I'm... Ugh, do I... Do I just go full hog? I really should not. We'll just go with basic thunder. Ooh, all targets. Wait. Target. Like all targets. So I can go with all targets. How do I swing that? Oh, duh. I can just look at the freaking screen right there. There we go. Did not do as much as I thought it would. So what we got? We got Strong Strike. There does not seem to be a downside to this. There does not seem to be a downside to that. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna be stupid here. Invigorate. And then... Strong strike the crap out of them. I was hoping that would have got you on like the uh, second attack. We got here relieve, cures poison, blindness, silence, and sleep. Plus the target's physical defense for by 25% for three turns. I might want to... Oh, I can only target one person at a time with this. Of course, Final Fantasy rules. Um... I'm tempted to have her just brave out and cast Protect on everybody because I'm frightened of these enemies. But that is also uh, MP that I can't really waste. Okay, I'll just have you focus on the ones that are more at risk. Which is you... And... Him. Lend us your power. Spirit 
protect us. That's what I'm talking about. Here I go. I'm going in. All right, scale strip deal 0.5 physical damage to a single target. Target's magical defense is reduced by. Boy, I really wish you would have went first. Hmm. Only available when the shield. Oh, we got shield bash. We're playing natural doctrine. Don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Oh God! Why did you have to miss? He is still alive. This is okay. At least he gained some BP back. My God! Why do you hit so hard? Oh yeah, that's right. Duh, it keeps your last action like pre-selected. I need things to start dying. Nope. Still standing. No big deal. I need you to stop encouraging. What the fuck? Well, what's next? I wonder. Come and get her. Why are they not dead? It's nothing. Nothing to worry about. Very well. This is like the scariest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Why are they so alive? Oh my god. Oh no. Uh Houston, we have a problem. Hey, finally! I don't know how I feel about this. Chill out! I have not put myself in a good position. Okay, Claudia, um... I'm not wasting an examine on these clowns because... They're hitting a little too hard for where my HP is right now. No big deal. Wait, do they regenerate MP over time? Or am I seeing things? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. Wishful thinking. Very well. Why, 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 why are none of my strong attackers being able to do anything right now? I would really enjoy that. Fuck you. Uh, Fuck you! In this, please. Okay, um... <laughs> am I really gonna have to grind on a demo? Is that what's really gonna have to happen? This is starting off with one HP. No, I'm dead, but I'm still controlling Seth on the thing. Oh, okay. So, any revives? <laughs> um. I only have two Phoenix Downs. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, retreat. And, uh, stop at the end. Oh, no. Please, please, please. Run, run, run. Grab this. One staff. You already have a, uh... Staff, Elvis? He does. Will staff work for you? Uh... It will raise your magical attack, but it lowers your physical attack. Why am I even looking at magical attack? You're a white mage. What? No. No, stop that. Okay. Yeah, I need to uh, heal, like, immediately. 
they are not playing around in this demo. Okay. It was only a hundred gold. Well, PG. Okay. We back at it. We we good. We good. I was I was not expecting this for a demo. I mean, they did say like, "Hey, we made things a little harder just to uh, you know, make things a little more challenging and so you can get like the full uh brunt of the uh battle system." But goddamn, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, just gonna go ahead and avoid all of them. When you are in a dungeon, your game can only be saved when you are standing at a save point. It's a good idea to save your game every time you see this symbol. Alright. We got a nice little open air dungeon! It's a bug. We got him. Alright. I ain't afraid. You are frightening. What the fuck? That was a normal ass attack. Kill these wasps. They hurt my feelings in Animal Crossing, so I want to deal revenge. Let's just do one fire. Like one magic spell per battle. Because these costs. Pretty rough. For the fact that we don't heal off of. Uh, what the fuck? Heal off of. The level ups. Oh no. Mistakes were made. We're about to die, aren't we? Oh. <gasps> they are Is every boss fight or scratch that is every random encounter a boss fight so that's what it's feeling like right now granted I did just have everybody uh, brave out but this demo I'm shook. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and avoid the. Oh no, leave me alone! He came sprinting! No it's like, are those adventurous? I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Alright. Do this is just a rabbit and some goblin. Or. F flip those, uh, flip, flip those around. It's a goblin and rabbits. Got it. Why did you just do four? Oh no. Um, am I going to have to do a part two of this after I, uh, do some level grinding? Because, leave me alone, 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 he is not leaving me alone, oh my god. This is where I want to be, right? Hmm. 
They flanked me. The enemy is feeling brave. <laughs> they don't need it. Allow me. There is no need for mindless heroics. Okay, I know I'm taking the coward's way out right now. Why are you still chasing me? Okay. There's nothing here. Please be the master sword. Oh, potions. I'm so very afraid. Magic knife. Okay. All right. Now now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. That helps. Every little bit helps. Playing this like Metal Gear now. Also, I need to heal. Because, my God. No, 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 no. Everything's hitting like a Mack truck. I don't. Don't stand for this, and I don't know where I need to go. Why is this dungeon the way it is? Am I even in the right area? Maybe I'm not in the right area. Oh my god. I ran up on another one. We have the, upper hand. We have the advantage. See, if it wasn't six enemies, I would give this an honest shot, but, um... No way! Very well. Retreat is sometimes the wisest option. Yo, what kind of demo is this? No, th this is exactly where I need to be. I might legitimately have to have a part two to this demo. <laughs> Where I'm... Like, after I've grinded. Okay, so I need to get over here. Party chat, help me out here. Well, here we are. The sand swept ruins. What exactly was this place? I believe I remember being told that plays were once performed here. This was a theater? Hard to imagine looking at the state it's in now. Shame, I'd love to see a real show one day. Me too. I've never been to the theater even once. Oh, you're missing out, laddie. I've been going since I was yay high. That's not even a joke, is it? Still can't believe you're an actual aristocrat. How about you, Gloria? You must have been to the theater plenty of times. Any plays you'd recommend? I'm rather fond of musicals, personally. That makes sense. I guess you having such a beautiful voice and all. She does? Hey, I'd love to hear it sometime, Gloria. Oh, my talents are meager in the extreme. Nonsense, I heard you singing in the bath. You're amazing, you were you were spying on her? That's quite enough chit-chat, everyone. We must be pressing on. I like the little interactions. Exiting and re-entering for a quick save. Also, you can save on the overworld. Right? Yep, you sure can. Okay. Um. Yeah, I have no clue why this demo is like freaking insane. I guess they really are making you work for it. Like, no, you gonna learn about this uh, battle system today.
I don't know where the game wants me to go, though. Oh, over here. Okay. Fair enough. Holy crap, it is dark. Hope no getting this way. Okay, got a little lost here. Am I trying to cheese it? Yes. Because have you seen these enemies? I may genuinely have to like exit and re-enter where it's daytime. Crap, I thought I was on to something here. Okay, I may have to take the long way around then. Yes, I'm gonna continue to be running from enemies. Look, all I'm saying is... He was too blind to see me! Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, all I'm saying is, if I have a thousand HP, and enemies on a normal attack are hitting for 500. We have a problem here. Let me see. Oh, oh dear. We have a pretty major problem here. Please escape. Please run. Why are they so strong? Why? Is it because I changed everybody's classes? But no! He's a freaking knight! With defense! Well, vanguard. And they're hitting him for so much. It's wrong and it makes me want to cry. Valkyrie shield. Oh my god. Okay. All right, so I just had to have people survive long enough to make it in here. That's all. You probably need the shield more than anyone right now. I didn't re-equip this round shield. Oh my god, this lowers so much. Yeah, I'd rather not have your aim lowered. Fine. And then you can take the round shield because the Valkyrie shield is not going to cut it for you. And then you get the Valkyrie shield. It lowers your speed by two and evasion. The positives outweigh the negatives. Oh, they're carrying flashlights. I didn't notice that. Well, Seth is. I'm very slow, okay? Ready, everyone? There's four of them. You just hit for 561, okay, no. See, I was going to fight, and then he hit for 561. Or it could just be she's taking damage like that because she doesn't have anything equipped because barehanded fighter. I need to stop being a coward. All right, next fight I will partake in. Maybe. Look, I'm, I'm fighting for my life here. Okay, I'm running for my life here. I can't keep doing this, man. 
Uh, run. What's happening? We have the upper Yay, hand. I have the upper hand. Why are there so many? Hmm. You know what? No, I'm not afraid. Guess it's my We're turn. fighting. I said I was going to fight. That's what I'm going to do. They're defaulting too. That is not good. Oh my god. Why are you doing so much damage while I'm defaulting? Very well. We stand firm for now. Okay, what's the plan? Goes. Oh, he's poisoned. That's excellent. Fucking god. These are boss fights. These are not regular fights. I can understand if they were if they were like doing a hundred, even a hundred fifty, but on average they're doing like three hundred. This makes no sense. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some of that too, and then shit, I don't know. Let's attack something. Hey, it's Here vulnerable. Yeah. Seth ain't gonna make it. Okay. Stop defaulting. Please. Okay, alright. Use a potion. That did not heal nearly as much as I would have liked. Oh, we about to die. This AI. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! It's nothing. No way. Okay, um So that's gonna be it for me today. Um I want to see what awaits at the end of this demo. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be grinding or should I just switch everybody back to freelancer? I don't, I genuinely don't know. Um, this got rough. This got real rough. Uh, but yeah, um, now you should have a basic idea of what Bravely Default is. The game is not that mind-numbingly hard. It it really isn't. But, uh, the, the scaling there. I mean, when they, when they said, like, hey, we, uh, we, we made things a little tougher for this, uh, Demo, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, okay, they'll start me off in the middle of the game in like some area that'll be important later on, but they'll have like a self-contained story here. And we might be like, you know, level 15 while the enemies are level 17, possibly even 20. But no, I'm fighting things that can kill me in effectively three normal hits. And, um... You don't you don't really wake up expecting that. Um so Yeah, um I don't know if I'll do another video for the demo. Maybe. I mean, I'll continue to play it on my own. I'm excited for the game, but uh Ooh, child. Maybe I should just switch them back to uh freelancers or just make everybody a vanguard. Ooh, make everybody a monk. But no, it seems like certain enemies are weak to certain uh, weapons. 
So I guess using examine more often would be useful too. But when the enemies are hitting like that, I rather would not, or I, I would rather not waste a turn per se on examining them when that could be used more suitably for dealing damage. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, as, as far as you could tell from that, strategies with Bravely Default can get a little in depth. But, but honestly, the game does not start off that hard. But yeah, um, I'm done here. Maybe there'll be a part two to this. But that was Bravely Default, the demo version. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if anyone else was having a, a hard time, you know, or were just having their brains and skulls just caved in by these enemies just to uh, restore what little bit of my ego remains. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. <laughs>